You don't have to die for revolution, Alex. That's not the point. You have to live for revolution. That's what they're afraid of. Yeah, I like of. that. They're afraid of that. You don't have to die for revolution. You got to live for you it. You have to live for it. Change your my it, life. It's, it's easier for someone to sit there and say, you know, I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory tomorrow, and I'm really going to make them pay, as opposed to say, you know what? I'm going to go through the painstaking suffering of raising a boy and two little girls in this damn near fascist society in order to raise them to look at the world differently. To me, they say, oh, you know, are you, are you drinking that left-wing uh, Kool-Aid? I always say to them, it tastes just as good as the right-wing Monsanto's milk. Because Damn no matter right. which one you want and which one you're willing to, to, to absorb, I think you have to get past this paradigm. And I think that's where programs like this and what I do, you know, we don't have to agree about every single thing, but what we do agree about is that we don't want people to believe everything that we say. We want people to question everything. Full spectrum time. analysis. Yes. But then that can also go into the extreme where without proof, people just make up, well, this guy's this or this guy's that. In closing, the whole Bin Laden raid, zero dark 30s, torture porn. I'm going to do a review next week. I finally torture saw it. Torture porn. Wow. Uh, the the uh, martyr. Uh, tell us about the music after you get into your take on uh, Bin Laden and all the rest of it. The Martyr is a 100% free album. And when I say free, you can go to Viper Records right now and you can get it. It features all of my peoples from Rebel Arms. Big shout out to them. Uh, Poison Pen, Diabolic, G.I. Joe, I, I, The Circle, Hassan Salam, CF. Who am I leaving out? Point is, it's no. up there at the Viper <laughs> Records no, no, site. Everybody in that South Paul, big shout out to him. Um, basically, everybody that I came up with, Swave Seva, um, all the people that I have worked with over these years have been a part of this. We gave it for free. And when I say free, you don't have to fill out a survey. No 20 second Vivo commercial. You press one button, it's an absolutely free album. And the beauty of it was that I wanted to show people you don't have to die for revolution, Alex. That's not the point. Got to stop believing in the system. You have to live for revolution. That's what they're afraid of. Yeah, I like of. that. They're afraid of that. You don't have to die for revolution. You got to live for you it. You have to live for it. Change your way it, life. It's, it's easier for someone to sit there and say, you know, I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory tomorrow, and I'm really going to make them pay, as opposed to say, you know what? I'm going to go through the painstaking suffering of raising a boy and two little girls in this damn near fascist society in order to raise them to look at the world differently and to see it's what a long it haul is. beautifully said uh, let me ask you this the immortal technique that sounds like evergreen or an idea that transcends time tell me what immortal technique means and i came up with that name well originally you know <laughs> when i was incarcerated uh my name was just technique that's just what i went by and i, I always remember there was a Native American trustee named Judge. He brought me a pen and a paper while I was in the hole. And I wrote a song on the first record I had called uh, The Prophecy. And I thought to myself, you know, in order for me to, to get my message across, it's going to have to span years of time. You know what I mean? What's going on right now, as you have pointed out, as I pointed out through history, has happened before. People have taken this away, people have taken that away, people have manipulated the system, people have used a proxy to get what they want done, people have put a smiling face off on, on things that really have the fangs of a vampire. At some point, we have to analyze this throughout history. And also, I'm a man who believes in God, and I believe that you know a man that walks with God can walk anywhere. So I don't fear death. I don't fear people trying to marginalize my, my point and my perspective because I challenge them to meet me on the field of intellectual battle anytime, anywhere. Just give me, you know, a few days' notice so, you know, I can buy your mother a suit. That's all. <laughs> oh, man. Well, listen, you got to promise me that whenever you come through Texas, you'll come into the studio. And you got to promise every couple of months you'll come on via video Skype. <laughs> I'll try my best, man. Thank you very much for having me on here. You bet. It's been amazing. Uh, the Bin Laden raid. You didn't answer that. Bin Laden. Do you know what? 
they would have never wanted that man alive. They never wanted him to testify on all of his dealings as a CIA operative. I think when people look at that in the past, I, I posted something on my, uh, my Instagram on Tech Immortal, uh, an old uh, news clipping where he was being hailed as a hero. Where he was, they were talking about him. In the 80s. He was some, like some kind of savior. And I always remember. CIA Commando bin Laden right. leads Afghan Mujahideen to victory against the Russians. They were talking about his, the, the great things that he was the doing. The Russians are pulling out. In bin Laden, what a kick ass leader. Right. I always tell people regardless of what you think about the story, regardless of what you think about what it was, that little dumping him in the water afterwards is a tiny infinitesimal microscopic part of a much larger story involving war pimping for natural resources you know i went to afghanistan and you know it's in it's in the documentary we used the proceeds from an album i had called the third world with a a, a, a human rights organization wow. called omade international o m e i d dot org look them up um to build an orphanage in a school and when people come up to me and they say, oh, what do you think was the most effective thing that you did there? And I said, I showed them that Americans are not what they perceive them to be. You know what I mean? That most of them, when they look at us, are a bunch of people who have come to invade their country. And I didn't come there with the military. I didn't come there with the government. I came there not to bring people freedom. But to find it, a you go to Afghanistan. This film, uh, yeah. And you better give me a copy, right? Yeah, no, no, I will get you one. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, that is just amazing. I'll just tell you, the whole Bin Laden thing's completely fake. I mean, I've done the research. And the Zero Dark Thirty, all of a complete crap. Hey, hey, zero, what did you think? Zero Dark Thirty. You know, I, uh, that is torture porn movie, yes. Hey, uh, you saw it. Uh, I saw excerpts of it's it. It's amazing. I, I didn't get to see the whole it's thing. It's amazingly horrible. It, it's supposed to make torture and stuff sexy and then act like they don't like it, but they do. It's, it's, it's total yuppie power trip crap. Uh, in closing, what did you think when you came to the InfoWars studio? You've only walked right in on the show. I need to show you the rest before you leave uh, here at the end of the show tonight. But well, I mean, what did you think to expect when you visited uh, the Texas Pumpkinhead's house? No, I, I, I never expect anything. That's why I'm never disappointed. No, but you, uh, so what do you think? Uh, there's a saying in Spanish, el diablo sabe más por ser viejo que sabe por ser diablo. It means the devil knows more because he's old than he does because he's the devil. So I didn't come in here with any preconceived notions. People uh, were saying, oh, you know, Alex is going to talk this way and talk that way. And I said, no, me and Alex are going to have a calm, peaceful, rational, non-yelling, fact-driven discussion. And that's the way it's going to go down because the bottom line is that the people who created the problems that our society is facing are not going to fix them. Well, we, yeah, you can well, say what you want only, about me only and you. People, only the people watching right but now. But I have goodwill. They're going to fix them. I have goodwill. I want you to have a great life, your kids to have a great life. I want them to experience and learn things. I want mine. My children and their progeny go forward into the future with everyone else. And this thing of screw everybody around you is just going to create a bad future for my progeny and your progeny. And it's that simple. I don't want to shit on each other anymore. Right. And it doesn't mean any of us have all the answers. It doesn't mean, but the point is we've got to have a good heart, but also be cynical and not buy into all the crap. Right. Immortal Technique. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very powerful. Infowars, Free Palestine, all the immigrants can't demonize us all. This is a nation of immigrants. Read between the lines, Infowars, Immortal Technique, Alex Jones. All right. Hang out for just a minute. I'm going to end the show. I'm going to give you a quick tour. Harlem. All right, hold on right there. Uh, folks, we are out of time. That was over an hour interview. Uh, wow. Uh, I, I, I've uh, met Tech, I don't know, seven, eight years ago in New York, hung out with him a few times, been at a few concerts he did, spoke at some of them, been on some demonstrations in New York, took over. Whoa. What's the big one, the President's March Down, the famous We Took Broadway, or what is it? I don't know, somebody was saying that whenever we shut down the highway. Uh, the point is, is that if this is the best interview ever, and I hope you go back, like he said, because it's true, I don't just make this stuff up. I may be wrong about a few things, but when I'm just spitting out data, I'm not, it's not just crap. Take it, take the words, take what he said, so much was said uh, as well by tech, and look at it, and take this hour plus interview. How long have we been going, Marcos? It's over an hour right now on InfoWars Nightly News, extended edition, and get this out because we have to get out of these controlled camps and really have a real college of ideas and debates, so that is it for this Friday edition of InfoWars Nightly News. I'll be back this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, with the syndicated radio show, free podcast audio links at InfoWars.com. 
video streams at prisonplanet.tv and back next Monday for the radio show and the nightly news. And again, remember, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. And like uh, our guest said, you don't have to die for the revolution. You've got to live for it. And the French say the best revenge is living well. I agree with them. Start voting with your dollars. Start voting with your mouth. Stop, start resisting the system and promoting what's free and independent. And if you just do that, we'll have a better world. Well, that's it for this edition. Great job, crew.